Hello everyone, this is how to um, create this. We started this um, the other day. Uh, it's pretty simple, you need a Sharpie, a piece of paper, and a set of colored pencils. So first thing I'm gonna do is divide up my paper with some really curvy lines. You really want them to be curvy, okay? Don't be scared to curve too far out. And when you do your second lines, you want to change the um, amount of space in between the lines. So for example, like this is really far spaced, this gets really close, and then this curves back out. So you're really kind of having some various spaces there. I need one more over here, I think. And don't be afraid to be, I mean, you don't want to be like ridiculously curvy, but I would say two or three curves per line. And then again, playing around with that space in between the next line. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven lines. I've been doing averaging between like eight and 10. Um, I think at least seven, that's pretty good. If you do it and you think some of these are too wide apart, you can add another one, but I think that's pretty nice. All right, so now what you wanna do is you're gonna start um, kind of dividing the space up. So think about there's a middle part of your page, there's kind of upper and there's lower, okay? So in the upper part, the lines are going to go up like this. And as I get closer to the center, I'm gonna get a little straighter because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna change direction and now the lines are gonna swoop down. Okay. Now when I do the space next to it, I'm gonna start right where I left off with that one. And again, I'm gonna swoop up swoop up, up, starting to get a little more straight as I get to the middle, and then I swoop down. And on this one, I feel like that's a pretty big space, so I'm just gonna add an extra, and you can do that. But for the most part, all these lines are gonna start and stop in the same spot. Oh, this is how you handle the edge. Just kinda make them go off the edge. Okay. And I'm just going to keep moving across. So I'm going to go up, 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 starting to get straight, and then I'll come down, down, down. Okay, so again, where they left off, up, up. Up, start to get straight. I'm gonna come down, down, down. All the way across. I feel like this needs another one up here. I skipped this one because I thought I was gonna be a little too close right there. So you can kind of add one in if you, think, if you feel like it needs one or leave one out. Okay, so now that you've done that, you are going to start coloring. So the way to do this, the way to make it look um, like an optical illusion where it's three-dimensional, is you've gotta do the shading technique that we started. You also want to alternate two colors. Um, it really adds to the effect. So I'm gonna do um, this green and, how about this yellow here? No, the yellow's not gonna show up very good on camera. How about I do this kind of purpley color, okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start down here. So the easiest way to do it is the edges, you do them first, not the edges, but like the ends. You don't wanna do dark around the middle because that's where our highlight's gonna be. So I do my edges first. And 
And this is a pretty wide piece, so I'm gonna bring my edge in just a little bit more. The dark. Remember, you have to have that range of value from dark to light. Now, as I start moving towards the center, I'm gonna ease up on my pressure to get that next medium value, right? It's slightly lighter than the dark. And as I get even closer, I'm getting even lighter. By the time I get to the center highlight, it's gonna be the lightest value that my pencil goes. And then I can kind of see some stripey areas where I didn't blend very well, so I'm gonna go back and blend those in a little bit better. Okay, I'll do my blue or purple, whatever this is, oh, it's blue. Again, do your edges first. That's your darkest value. That's the darkest your pencil will go. And as you move towards the center, you start to get lighter. Helps me to turn my page. I got these new colored pencils. I'm not sure I like them. That could be because I got a weird table surface underneath. Lightest, lightest in the middle. And then I just need to blend that, fade that in a little bit better. Okay, and you just keep working your way up. So what happens is you can see the highlights are all kind of in this middle area, right? Which makes this look like it's, you know, a form. All the highlights are down the middle. And even on some of these, like this brown, I took a little bit of black and added it to really make it dark as it wrapped around, so you can do that. Um, I'll put some um, photographs of student work on Google Classroom so you guys can see the different blending techniques. Some of these guys are killing it with the blending of the colors. All right, you guys have fun.